Zhu Chongzhi, courtesy name Wen Yuan, was a prominent Chinese mathematician and astronomer during the Lusong and Southern Qi dynasties. Life and works. Chongzhi's ancestry was from modern Baoding, Hebei. To flee from the ravage of war, Zhu's grandfather Zhu Chang moved to the Yangtze as part of the massive population movement during the Eastern Jin. Zhu Chang at one point held the position of chief minister for the palace buildings within the Lusong and was in charge of government construction projects. Zhu's father, Zhu Shu Oji, also served the court and was greatly respected for his erudition. Zhu was born in Jiankang. His family had historically been involved in astronomy research, and from childhood Zhu was exposed to both astronomy and mathematics. When he was only a youth his talent earned him much repute. When Emperor Xiaowu of Lu Song heard of him, he was sent to an academy, the Walin Zhu Sheng, and later at the Imperial Nanjing University to perform research. In 461 in Nangzhu, he was engaged in work at the office of the local governor. Zhu Chongzhi, along with his son Zhu Gengzhi, wrote a mathematical text entitled Zhu Yishu. It is said that the treatise contains formulas for the volume of the sphere, cubic equations in the accurate value of pi. This book didn't survive to the present day, it has been lost since the Song dynasty. His mathematical achievements included the Daiming calendar introduced by him in 465, distinguishing the sidereal year and the tropical year, and he measured 45 years and 11 months per degree between those two. And today we know the difference is 70.7 years per degree. Calculating one year as 365.24281481 days, which is very close to 365.24219878 days as we know today. Calculating the number of overlaps between Sun and Moon as 27.21223, which is very close to 27.21222 as we know today, using this number he successfully predicted an eclipse four times during 23 years. Calculating the Jupiter year as about 11.858 Earth years, which is very close to 11.862 as we know of today deriving two approximations of pi, which held as the most accurate approximation for pi for over 900 years. His best approximation was between 3.1415926 and 3.1415927, with 355 113ths and 22 sevenths being the other notable approximations. He obtained the result by approximating a circle with a 24,576-sided polygon. This was an impressive feat for the time, especially considering that the device counting rods he used for recording intermediate results were merely a pile of wooden sticks laid out in certain patterns. Japanese mathematician Yoshio Mikami pointed out, 22 sevenths was nothing more than the pi value obtained several hundred years earlier by the Greek mathematician Archimedes. However, milu pi equals 355 113 could not be found in any Greek, Indian or Arabian manuscripts. Not until 1585 Dutch mathematician Adrian Antonisch Zoon obtained this fraction. The Chinese possessed this most extraordinary fraction over a whole millennium earlier than Europe. Hence Mikami strongly urged that the fraction 355 be named after Zhu Chongji as Zhu's fraction. In Chinese literature, this fraction is known as Zhu's ratio. Zhu's ratio is a best rational approximation to pi, and is the closest rational approximation to pi from all fractions with denominator less than 16,600. Finding the volume of a sphere as pi d 3 sixths where d is diameter. Astronomy Zhu was an accomplished astronomer who calculated the values of time with unprecedented precision. 
His methods of interpolating and the use of integration is far ahead of his time. Even the astronomer Yi Zings isn't comparable to his value. The Song Dynasty calendar was backwards to the northern barbarians because they were implementing their daily lives with the Daming Li. It is said that his methods of calculation were so advanced. The scholars of the Song Dynasty and Indo-influence astronomers of the Tang Dynasty found it confusing. Mathematics The majority of Zhu's great mathematical works are recorded in his lost text The Ju Yishu. Most scholars argue about his complexity since traditionally the Chinese had developed mathematics as algebraic and equational. Logically, scholars assume that the Ju Yishu yields methods of cubic equations. His works on the accurate value of pi describe the lengthy calculations involved. Zhu used the Lu Hui's pi algorithm described earlier by Lu Hui to inscribe a 12,288 gone. Zhu's value of pi is precise to six decimal places and for a thousand years thereafter no subsequent mathematician computed a value this precise. Zhu also worked on deducing the formula for the volume of a sphere, the South Pointing Chariot. The South Pointing Chariot device was first invented by the Chinese mechanical engineer Ma Jun. It was a wheeled vehicle that incorporated an early use of differential gears to operate a fixed figurine that would constantly point south, hence enabling one to accurately measure their directional bearings. This effect was achieved not by magnetics but through intricate mechanics. The same design that allows equal amounts of torque applied to wheels rotating at different speeds for the modern automobile. After the Three Kingdoms period, the device fell out of use temporarily. However, it was Zhu Chongji who successfully reinvented it in 478, as described in the texts of the Book of Song and the Book of Qi, with a passage from the latter below. When Emperor Wu of Lu Song subdued Guangzhong he obtained the south-pointing carriage of Yao Xing, but it was only the shell with no machinery inside. Whenever it moved it had to have a man inside to turn. In the Sheng Ming reign period, Gao Dai commissioned Zi Zhu Chongji to reconstruct it according to the ancient rules. He accordingly made new machinery of bronze, which would turn roundabout without a hitch and indicate the direction with uniformity. Since Ma Jun's time such a thing had not been named after him. Pi 355 113th is Zhu Chongji's pi ratio. The lunar crater Su Chung Kai, 1888 Zhu Chongji is the name of asteroid 1964 V01. ZUC Stream Cipher is a new encryption algorithm.